you're watching the weekly roundup kimberly says look as fun good morning gcs good morning yes it's a circus going on i am your ringmaster today for the weekly roundup sheriff p and we have a lot of great stuff going on just to you know this has been a wild week truthfully this has just been one of those weeks uh, uh rachel good morning can't wait to hear for this yes I, it's pretty funny so we're doing I, I had my script all set up to go so i'm doing a public service announcement Many of you on your phones, probably within the last 15 minutes, received an alert that there is, they are looking for a suspect, a clean-shaven person, everything like that. That's been going on since 7 o'clock. We've been in constant contact with Cypress PD. The funny thing is, it's not even here that this is going on. This is going on in Los Alamitos, and it's escalated towards Long Beach. And for some reason, they're trying to figure out how, when they sent out this notification, it went to everywhere. It went to parts of Cyprus, parts of West Garden Grove. Um, so they're trying to uh, figure out what exactly happened and why it went to all the different places. Justin, good morning. Good to see you. Rachel, yes, you can't wait to hear what's going on. So it has nothing to do with us. Uh, it's not in our area. We called them the minute we saw the helicopters this morning over at Ball and Bloomfield. And uh, we talked to dispatch and everything was all cleared. So no, it doesn't affect Grace Christian School. Operations are as normal. I'd like to welcome all of you to the Weekly Roundup. I'm Sheriff P. I see that we already have 35 people tuning in. And you probably were wondering about the circus music at the very beginning. Well, let me tell you this. We have a carnival coming to Grace Christian School. And our PST is putting together our first ever carnival, October 19th from 3 to 7. Some of you um, had, had grade school carnivals when you were in grade school. The fun little booths and things like that where you could take home goldfish and have all kinds of fun little carnival games and carnival foods. Our PST has been working on that this summer, and we wanted to announce it to you. Mary, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. Mary is one of the ringleaders on the carnival, along with Brenda and their uh, compadres who are putting this entire carnival together. Uh, but yes, it's coming no Thursday, October 19th. Right now, pull out your phones, put it in there, block out that time, and you know what else? Be willing to volunteer some time. We have so many families here. If every family just volunteered 30 minutes to help at the carnival, we would have more than enough help to be able to get this all together. Remember, we need people before the carnival and people after the carnival to help put up, take down, and get things ready. So the carnival team will be getting in contact with you about that. This is going to just be super fun. Good morning, Amanda. Welcome to the Weekly Roundup. We're glad you're here this morning. Anyway, uh, the first ever carnival, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. There's going to be six inflatable games and unlimited fun and pizza, hot dogs, kettle corn, you name it. Uh, get ready for the carnival on October 19th. The next thing is we want you. Yes, if you have students in Mrs. Lee's class or Pastor Montoya's class, we are in need of a room parent in both of those classes. So there's the email for Andrea, uh, PST head room mom at GCSRR. Michelle, good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in to the weekly roundup. We're glad you are here. 
But yeah, if you have a child in Mrs. Lee's class or Pastor Montoya's class, we want you. Step up. It doesn't take much to go and, and email our room, head room parent and say, you know what, I'm willing to help. And that way you're the quarterback with all the other parents to be able to coordinate help when we do different events. You know, with many hands, it makes for an extremely light load. So that's another wonderful announcement from our PST. And the next one is tonight. Do you want to save some time? Do you want peace of mind? Do you want to get out of the kitchen completely? Tonight we're having a fundraiser at Islands and in Seal, on Seal Beach Boulevard. Stop by there, uh, take this coupon with you, show it, and a percentage of your uh, meal comes back to the school as a fundraiser. Every year, everybody loves Islands, and that's why we redo it all the time because of the popular requests. Uh, everyone loves their burgers, their fries, their bevies. Um, so that is tonight, and uh, it starts at 4 p.m., so like right after school, you can gather all the children and head on out to Islands, and it goes until it closes. Our PST put that together for us. Right now, we have over 55 people tuned in, and so that is going to be a lot of fun. So we need some room parents. we got the carnival coming, and we have Islands tonight, and many of you are signing up for PST for the big PST drive contest, and right now, the winner's in preschool through third grade, the leaders are Santos, Frazier, and Cadiz. And in the upper grades, fourth through eighth, is Caselli, Ziegler, and Carr. Uh, so we're seeing a little bit of movement on the, the board. So don't forget, you have until the 22nd. So if today is the 20th, you got two more days. You have till Friday of this week to get those signed up and everything like that. Fun fact, I worked at Islands for 13 years. Amanda, did you really? Was it fun every day going in? Uh, dressed in, you know, your Hawaiian shirts and getting to watch the surf shows and all that. I always enjoy islands. It's a really nice atmosphere, and I think our families have a lot of fun. And you might be able to get uh, trivia questions from Amanda while you're there. Uh, but that is a fun fact. Thanks for sharing that, Amanda. Those are our leaders right now on the class contest, and we'd love uh, for you to continue to get your memberships in. It's not too late. The blood drive. We've been talking about the blood drive, and uh, right there we have 43 people have signed up for the blood drive. That number is not correct because of this morning. Amanda says it was a fun job uh, since high school. Yeah, you always find those fun jobs right after high school you can talk about with your kids and everything, and I'm glad that was a, a good job because it's better than digging a ditch uh, you're in air conditioning, having fun people. So our blood drive, City of Hope. You're giving the gift of life, which is blood. We had 43 here. That number has changed this morning to 45. 45 of you have signed up to give blood. If you went on the website right now, as I'm talking to you, you've clicked that uh, QR code, or you tried last night and you can't find a time slot that looks good for you and you need one, write this number down. Get these digits on paper, 714 761 5200, that's 714 761 5200. If that number sounds familiar, it's the school. Call uh, the school and ask to speak to the amazing Mrs. Mullaney, the marvelous Mrs. Mullaney, and she will try to fit you in and work the calendar out uh, to get you in so that we can get your blood and we can share the gift of life and really, really make a difference for an outstanding organization, City of Hope, that, that does so much for so many families in a time of dire need. So, Remember our, goal, remember, our goal is 50, and we're at 45 right now. That, so that number is incorrect there. We have two more than what it shows, and that is a great thing. I told you last week, we are extremely blessed, extremely lucky, and very, very excited that Cynthia Tobias is coming to speak at our school. Uh, you can see many of the books that she's written there. You can't make me, but I can be persuaded. This is an outstanding book. I've read through it. I've read through many of her other books. I, I showed you last week. Um, this is Every Child Can Succeed. I've had this book uh, probably 20 years. I, I read it about 20 years ago. And the principles are still timeless in there. They still hold true. Uh, Cynthia is an outstanding Christian lady, and uh, her message is strong. She's been on focus on the family. She collaborated with Dr. James Dobson on stuff. This is a person that you want to come here. Uh, we've got her coming out. We didn't have enough room here for everybody, so Neighborhood Church was willing to uh, let us use their venue, and we are excited. That is on November, let's see, just want to make sure, November 2nd 
and it starts at six o'clock at Neighborhood Church. Uh, we want you there. I believe this is such an important message that if you have family members, even if they don't have kids that go to Grace Christian School, it's our heart to make a difference in families. Please invite them. They need to come hear this message. You have loved ones, uh, neighbors or something. Uh, this is something that you want to come hear. Uh, she will have books available there and everything like that. And she has a marvelous message. Uh, you're going to be able to get a link starting today. We'll be sending you links, which is a 90-second perspective of different things that she talks about and will be expanding upon in her lectures with us. It's 90 minutes. When you sit down from the time you're leaving, you're going to believe, like, we just sat down. And you're going to go, this is my wife. This is my husband. This is my kid. This is me. Uh, all the different things that she talks about. So we're so excited to have Cynthia Tobias here. I look forward to seeing all of you there. And remember, this is an open invitation. If you go to a different church and you'd like to hand out uh, copies of this flyer, uh, stop by the office. We'll give them to you. Give them to your small groups. Give them to your moms in touch groups or anything like that. We'd love to have as many parents there hearing the message as possible. The parking at Neighborhood Church, if you've been there, there's parking there at the facility. We don't park next door in the business center. Uh, they're very secured about that. Or we can park across the street where Ralph's used to be, and we use the crosswalk to cross over. So there'd be more than enough parking for all of us. I understand that the auditorium can hold 600 people. And my goal would be to see us fill that place up so that we can hear a message that will help us make a difference in everyone's lives. So this book right here, like I told you, you can't make me do it, uh, but I can be persuaded is an outstanding book. Uh, it's also, she'll have this available for sale at the event, and uh, I'm going to give this book away. I'm going to give this book away. This one I haven't read. Uh, I read, I, my copy is all duck-tailed, and, and I have light writing and everything, but this is a brand new autographed version from Cynthia, so it, it's signed and everything like that. I'm going to give this away to the first person who can put in the message. Uh, the message is to me right now. And uh, Mrs. Oru will be the official because sometimes what you see may not be what comes up on her screen. But what comes up on her screen first is the first person who can tell me how many people have signed up to give blood, the gift of life so far that I talked about a little bit earlier. So the first person that types that number there, Mrs. Oru will type who the winner is after she sees it. All you have to do is stop by the office and you can pick up the book. Next thing. Can you feel it? Can you feel prayer? Yes, prayer is an amazing thing. When you pray, you feel better. Uh, others feel better. And they may even come to you. Hey, did you pray for me? Let's see. Uh, I, see a, I see a number that was put there, uh, but I'm not the official person. I said Christy was. So she is the official screen. I see a bunch of them coming in. Uh, uh, anyway, it's super excited. Julie, we addressed that at the beginning. No, we are not in lockdown. That had nothing to do with our school. That is a Long Beach issue that was mistakenly sent out to everybody. Uh, but anyway, so yes, uh, let's see here. She's going to put the winner up here in a second. But Moms in Touch, our prayer group, our prayer warriors, mom prayer team, it meets every Wednesday here at Grace Christian School. And we want you to be a part of that. It meets in the morning. I encourage you, if you're a mom or you're a dad, to please come to the prayer group. And you will love it. Let's see. Mrs. O'Roo says, Doe Kim is the winner. Congratulations, Doe. You won this uh, book from Cynthia Tobias. And um, it will be in the office waiting for you. And I hope you enjoy it. It's some really good reading. And uh, you'll, you'll thoroughly enjoy it. But I encourage you. This is a great way to start your morning. If you're able to show up and come to this, it's some great folks that are praying for our school. Uh, they all have servants' hearts, and I would love to see you there uh, at the, the prayer thing. You won't see me because I'm actually preparing for the weekly roundup when that's going on. Tomorrow, right here, is the kickoff for the fall fundraiser. It starts in the morning, and uh, we start kicking off at the different grade levels, and it goes live the minute the students walk out. So when you pick them up tomorrow... It's live. Start emailing your friends, your family, uh, and there's prizes for email addresses and everything like that. And you can make a difference and help Grace Christian School. Um, they have some marvelous things in this book. Every year, I, I'm into cooking, as you guys know, and barbecuing and classic cars, but 
I have found some great cooking things that I've been able to use on my barbecue, some cast iron skillets, some really cool fry baskets that I'm able to serve when I do special barbecue things. You can find all kinds of things in this Charleston Wrap magazine that isn't just gift wrap. It's useful things around the whole uh, school that you will love to use. So anyway, that starts tomorrow. Be ready. It's exciting stuff uh, to be able to do for the kickoff, and you will love it. In and out gift cards, they're $10 a piece. We have some right now. They make great stocking stuffers. Sheriff P, come on, please. You're talking about Christmas and it's not even the first day of fall? What are you doing? Well, I was at Costco, I saw they have their Christmas decorations up and Hobby Lobby, I think, is getting ready to put Valentine's decorations up. But um, Christmas is around the corner. You know what? Buy three gift cards today, 30 bucks, tuck them away and start saving so you'll have them when Christmas gets here. They make a perfect stocking stuffer, a great gift for somebody at work, and everybody loves in and out If you don't want to spend the $10 to get a gift card, you can sign up with Mrs. Mullaney and give blood at the City of Hope. And when you're all done, they will give you a $10 gift card uh, for in and out So if you want to give blood, call her at 714-761-5200. And she'll get you fitted in if you can't find a schedule or an appointment time on the web page. Um, if you want to purchase these, come on in the office and Mrs. Wolfner, Barbara Wolfner will help you. Uh, she takes care of our script sales. So yes, in and out gift cards, they make the perfect gift. Man, we're already over 70 people uh, watching the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the folks that are giving us. I, I have thumbs up here that are coming on the Facebook side and thumbs up that are coming on the YouTube side. So it's great to see all the different interactions that are, that are happening here. Vision is coming, just want to prepare you. you you'll see those forms coming home uh, to get ready. We do a vision test for everybody so that we can identify vision problems early, get them corrected so they're not uh, causing problems for our students in class. Picture day is on the 26th and 27th. You should have received one of these amazing uh, things right here that talk about picture day coming up. And um, this is great. Uh, I do want to bring up one important factor here. It says here, I know inflation's tough and gas prices have jumped. Key tag traders are $810 a piece. Uh, I think they probably only need to sell one of those at $810 a piece. That is a typo. They're $10 a piece. It's not $810 a piece. But this is the packages that went home. And uh, uh, you should be seeing that to make your orders for pictures. Let's see here. Amber says, my daughter already called the grandparents to get them on board with the fun. Amber, that is awesome. Uh, that is being very, very proactive. Uh, thank you very much for that. And thank you for letting us know. Let's give Amber a big high five. Let's give your daughter a big high five. Uh, for being excited about helping the school with the Charleston Wrap. But picture day, like I said, is coming on September 26th and 27th. Uh, you want your kids to look their best, do their hair, and uh, we do the class pictures those days also. So it's a lot of fun, and the, the kids like picture day. We try to do the pictures as early in the morning as possible so they don't have to be little robots, and they can go out and have fun at recess and everything like that. Next thing I want to talk about is just a reminder uh, street sweepings on Mondays. You can park on the street until 9 a.m. And 9 a.m. is when they start issuing the sites and you need to be clear for uh, the street sweepers that are coming through. Oh my goodness. This is a marathon. Let me grab a sip of coffee. Uh, and I just got coffee in my eye. But anyway, uh, for the last uh, few weeks, I've been talking to you about five things that you need that will make a difference in your family's lives. Uh, these are five principles I've used as we've raised my, uh, my wife and I raised our kids. And I'm happy to say my kids have all launched. They're moved on. They have families of their own. They have their careers and they're doing wonderful. And it all started with a strong foundation. The Bible's very clear about building your house on a strong foundation and not sandy land. Well, these five principles I'm going to give you, I give you one each week. If you use these, they're so simple. I've already reviewed them with the kids in elementary and junior high. You will see a huge difference in your family. The first one's love God. How do you love God? You love God through prayer. You love God through reading your Bible. You love God by going to church and doing all different types of things. Here's the Bible verse. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. Pretty simple verse. 
that's the number one. So you only have four more things to do and it's gonna give you a solid foundation. The next thing is putting others first, helping your neighbor, helping a friend. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Mark 12, 21. And so we got that one. And you know what? I think that is a typo. That should be Mark 12, 31. That's not Mark 12, 21. That's Mark 12, 31. And so you, if you remember Mark 12, 30, then just go right on next to the 31. I will correct that for the next one. You've got the first two. Loving God and putting others first. Wow. Now let's look at the third one today. This is one that many people need help on. Our kids need to be reminded of, and it's a pretty simple one. It's tell the truth. Telling the truth in everything, being honest about things. The Bible says this in John 8, 22, or 32. Jesus said, if you hold to my teachings, you really are my disciples. Uh, then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You know, we told this to the kids. If you remember a truth, there might be some temporary pain for telling the truth, but there's redemption, there's forgiveness, and you move on. When you tell a lie, it's tough because you're always remembering the lie, you have sin over you, and you're just ext extending the pain of the lie until you set yourself free. And we remind you that if you love God, you're not telling lies. If you love God, you're helping others. If you're, never if you're always telling the truth, you're loving God. So you see how these three things fit in? Uh, we do Mark 12, 30, that's one. Mark 12, 32, that's the next one. And if we do John 8, 32, we're right there with telling the truth. So those three principles, if we have those three principles, there's only two more to go. Talk to your kids about those in the car today. And they're gonna give you the answer. They, they already know what the other two are because we did those in chapel, junior high. Uh, we talked about this last week in elementary two weeks ago. I really have seen some intriguing conversations with the kids that come up and they say, I'm living the five and that is great. So if your family surrounds this five and you meet at the dinner table or tonight at Islands and you talk about it, what a great conversation. Well, parents, that brings us to the end of this weekly roundup. This has been a great week. Um, we played our circus music at the beginning. We have a circus coming up. Mary Murphy and the team and uh, Brenda Baumgard have got us all the stuff for PST. There's ways that you can be involved to make a difference here at Grace Christian School. I just ask that you continue to pray for our school. Continue to pray for wisdom for me and wisdom for our teachers as we lead uh, our ministry here. And we will continue to pray for you and each one of your students uh, that we may do the right thing by them, that we glorify God in everything that we do as we talk to them. It's, it's our ultimate goal that we make a difference in prayer with your children. And uh, you know, if we work together and we are all praying, we're truly loving God and we're making a difference and we can use the big five and make a difference in our kids' lives. The, the big thing that sets us apart from everybody else is we live by the principles of the Bible here at Grace Christian School. And we're really trying to encourage all of our kids to have a Bible uh, uh, and, and moving on. Big Dog says, no car line talk. Much improved. Thank you. Yes, we're seeing big, car, uh, big improvements in car line. So I figure I've already beat that horse enough and we let it move on down. But parents... Thank you for your prayers. We'll continue to pray for you. And if you get a chance and you're available on Wednesday mornings, we'd love to have you in the mom's prayer group. You don't have to be a mom to be there. You can be a dad, a grandpa, an aunt, an uncle, and come show and just pray for our school. And if you're a dad who's interested in starting a dad's prayer group at a different time in the day, let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll love to work with you and set that up. The more people we have praying for our school, our kids, and our country, the better off we'll be. May God bless the trails you ride until I see you again. Blessings to you. Have a great day, everyone.